Hello everyone, I am the Gerg of the Gerg Gaming. Uh, what I've decided to do is I had um, someone ask me to make uh, parent tutorials for people who, uh, for parents who have kids who play Minecraft. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to teach you how to, uh, I'm going to teach you the basics, run through some of the settings, um, characters, uh, the store basically, and how to set up a, how to set up a, a world um, in this one. And then we'll go through and talk about like day one and all that stuff in the next upcoming tutorials. Uh, but basically this is just the beginning. So basically uh, what we're doing is I'm doing this on Windows 10 uh, Minecraft. Um, they are doing, this is the beta for the newest update that's coming out. So you'll be right up to date basically. Um, and I was trying to do game capture, but it won't work. So you're going to get, you're going to have uh, a little bit of weirdness with the thing uh this is going to show um the bar up top is going to show uh and down below you're going to see a little bit of my start menu um but basically this is for parents this is for parents whose kids play minecraft and they're not really sure about how to approach it or how to you know how to start it so basically whenever you start up minecraft the windows 10 version let me let me stress that this is the windows 10 version um they're all going to be compatible um they're all going to work together here soon uh uh, the Xbox One, Windows 10, uh, the uh, Pocket Edition, um, also the Switch Edition, and I think that's it. Um, you'll be able to play with each other uh, in Realms, and I'll explain what that is very shortly. But Windows 10, you have characters here. If you go here, these are some of the... The default is always Steve and Alex. Um, recent is over here, which I'm always Lord Zed from Power Rangers. Um, or one of the Power Rangers, but I'll, I can change that up a little bit. But basically, you can buy skin packs to change your character. Now, some of these have free pat, free skins. Um, for example, that one's free. It's not locked. Um, if you go down, um, that that is a free skin right there. So I can just switch to it and play as it. That's a blue lumberjack. Um, all these usually come with at least one or two free skins. Like that one's free. Um, there's fish folk, town people, um, <laughs> and some of the more interesting ones aren't going to be free, but like, okay, so the case spider in a suit, there you go. That's one of the ones that's free, or you can get a, a mandrel, a baboon. Um, but basically there's a ton of skins. Um, they just added, uh, where is it at? Fallout and also, there it is, uh, Adventure Time. They just added Adventure Time. Um, to the skins pack, which Adventure Time doesn't have. Ah, oh, it does. There we go. Doctor Gross is free. Uh, <laughs> Martin Mertens is free. Uh, or Mertens. I can't pronounce his name. There's a couple other ones free. But basically, um, there are free ones that you can you can use, and this is what your character will look like in the game, plain and simple. Um, play is to start. A world, which we'll get to. Um, there are achievements that you can get. Um, I have unlocked some. Um, depending on your version, um, the achievements may be different. Um, I know the Windows 10 version and the Windows, the Xbox One version were different, but I think that's all about the change, and they're all going to go together. Uh, settings. Of course, unless you have keyboard, mouse, settings, controller, uh, touch, if you have a touch screen, um, you have a profile, which is user, your gamer tag, stuff, global resources. Um, these are packs, which I'll show you here very shortly in the store. Um, packs can change things. And I'll, I'll show you exactly what I mean here in a couple minutes. Um, storage is just basically where it's storing. A video, you can change. Uh, some things on here, like how your camera perspective is. Uh, UI, all that stuff. And then audio, you can turn the volume down, which you can see I've turned it way down. Because whenever you're recording, it's very loud. It's just, it's very loud. Um, and in my headset right now, it's 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 just very loud. <laughs> um, so basically, um, let's go to the store. Store. This is supposed to be a universal store soon. Uh, I, I, from what I understand, it's supposed to look like this all the time. I hope. Because <laughs> that's what they're saying. But basically in here, you have your skin packs, which I showed you earlier, and you can purchase those. Um, you also have texture packs, which is what I... Uh, these are packs that come with not only skins, but also environmental changes. So 
uh, for example, if you bought the nature pack, this is going to look more realistic, uh, but it's also going to come with, uh, this is the natural, sorry, natural textures. This is going to come with all nat natural textures. And you'll see like there, that's, everything looks like a natural, um, if you were outside and everything was blocky, this is how this would look. Um, if you go to steampunk, for example, everything has like a cogish look to it and steampunk look. Um, packs are awesome. Um, I have several of these. I I have the the natural uh, the natural one, which I can apparently download, and I didn't realize I had to do that. Um, and then I have the city texture, which I can download, and it's let me download. No, my download is complete, so apparently I have to download these again. Um, but you can buy these with micro, with Minecraft points, and I'm not really sure exactly what that is. <laughs> This is something new. How you get them, of course, you would use real currency. Um, but like I said, I'm not completely sure. I I'm showing you how to download packs too, by the way. I I'm not completely sure how to purchase them because um, I haven't done this yet. This is this is beta. I'm not really sure completely how to get the points. Um, and I don't want to show you because it'll probably go to my store and I'll have to do stuff and it'll probably show stuff. But anyway, uh, basically, you have texture packs. You have worlds. These are... A new thing that is happening uh, from what I understand these are okay so this is nothing but a giant redstone mansion I, these are user created from what I understand we'll, we'll download one we'll look at it here a little bit later I've never downloaded it so we'll see what that is um, but these are all like relics and privateers this is like a pirate. I will absolutely buy this soon. Because I am a huge pirate person. Experience a vast tropical wilderness on a whirlwind hunt or treasure. Contains hours of games play, unearth hidden temp uh, temples, explore hostile jungles, and battle the invading pirates. So these are uh, certain gameplay um, that will change up the gameplay. And they were talking about doing this. I, I just, I wasn't completely, I didn't completely understand when they were going to do this and this is all new so this is a futuristic space battle which is kind of cool i'm totally getting that pirate one um let's see so and then also the mashup packs now these mashup i'm sorry these are the ones that give you this stuff so uh the minecraft edition uh for fallout will give you fallout skins and also the fallout world that's what that is sorry matt the uh the other pack the texture packs just make the boards look different like the Stone Age. And I've never seen that one either. I don't even know what... What is going on? Okay. Is... Are there dinosaurs? Please tell me there's big dinosaurs. That would be fantastic. That's really interesting, actually. That's probably another one I'll grab. Um, But anyway, that is uh, that's basically the store. Uh, plain and simple. Everything's up here, like featured, uh, mashup packs, worlds, uh, texture packs, skin packs, and everything. And there's uh, community packs. So this is everything by the community. Um, and that's the new thing they're doing, which is where most of the packs come from. Uh, the community can create uh, stuff to change up, you know, to change up your game with, which is really interesting, actually. Um, <clears throat> so we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're not going to do these very long. These are going to be anywhere from like 15 to 30 minute uh, tutorials on how to do this. Um, there is a chat system. I mean, uh, sorry, that's it's not a chat system. That takes you to uh, the uh, website, I think. Um, and then questions, if you have any questions, is right there. Um, I never use these two. Uh, let's see what else is in this. Let's get a different skin. Let's do that first before we kick over to the next. You guys are going to hear my phone pop up. I'm sorry. Uh, before we start and go to the next stage of this, let's do a mashup pack that we have. Um, we do a Vault Boy. I do like the armor. The Fallout 3 Brotherhood of Steel. Um, let's do Nick Valentine. Let's do that. So we're going to be Nick Valentine. I kind of like that. I kind of like that skin. It's cool. Um, so basically, 
that is the setup. That's the main screen. It's, it's how you're going to rock the main screen. That's basically all it's on it. You'll play. You have achievements. Uh, you have your settings in your store. Your store, like I said, you can go to buy things. Um, I'm not really sure how this works. I want to click on this. Uh, what I'll do is once this tutorial is over, I'll click on it and come back and we'll see what happens. But basically, all I'm doing is just running through this one, just giving you an idea of what the main screen looks like. And you can see up top, um, this is the beta. This is the this is beta one two zero one one. Um, there's supposed to be different textures. Uh, quality is supposed to be a little bit different, a little bit better. Uh, they've made a bunch of changes, and like I said, they're going to have cross uh, cross well uh, cross network compatibility or cross uh, platform, which is really nice. So soon I will be able to play with my nephews uh, on whenever they're playing on tablet. I'll be able to play this or with my son uh, whenever he's on Windows 10, which is really nice. And I wish they would have had this earlier. This is something that should have happened a long time ago. So we're going to stop here. Whenever I come back, I'm going to show you how to make a world, some of the settings that are in the world, and we're actually going to jump into the world. Um, and that'll probably be a little bit longer of a video. So, but that's what we're going to do for first right now. This is just simplistically uh, looking at the main screen. So if you're a parent of a child who is playing Minecraft, welcome to the main screen. And we're going to keep going to get you uh, to get you further into this. So I will return very shortly with part two of tutorials for parents.